Yo, people, friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Yeah, I'm sat in the back of my truck. I'm still at home, I'm just in the driveway. Just thought I'd do the intro here, somewhere different. Not my office, not the front room, not the kitchen, definitely not the bedroom, and not the garage. Just somewhere different to start the video. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying sane, I hope you're healthy, and you're getting through it. We're into week four now of lockdown, and there's potential that we may come out of this and drop it down to a level three in a week or so. Maybe. Fingers crossed. If that happens, then I can go fishing on my own. That'd be great. Anyway, I ramble, I go on, I digress. So that a fish you just saw get caught, that ate a little soft tackle. And if you watch my videos, you'll know, or you, you'll probably know, that I love a soft tackle. Like, it's just such a good fly. It's, it's brilliant. I use them all the time. Anyway, I buy most of them, uh, but there is a couple that I tie myself just because I like the pattern it's good and that's what i'm going to show you today i'm going to show you how i tie my little soft tackle fly put a couple of these in your box and you'll be fucking sorted mate nice one okay so this is take three had some microphone issues and some fly tire issues so we'll try this one again so I'm using these size 14 Kemazan grubbers. I dig these hooks because, um, well, they're just really good. I've never had them fail on me yet. And I like the shape and they're strong and I like the shape. So that's about it. Cross the barb and the vise right here so I don't have to worry about that on the river. And then what I'm gonna do is just grab a little plastic clear bead and bang it on the hook like that. Now that could be clear bead, it could be a colour bead, it could be a brass bead, a tungsten bead. Um, it's good to have uh, different options, different weights, different sizes, just so you've got, uh, I guess, every scenario covered, really. Alright, so just some brown thread. I don't know what kind of thread. I guess I could look on it and check it out, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to wind that down here. Probably down, roughly around, I don't know, what you think will look good, there. And then I'm going to take some of this brown flexi floss. This stuff, it's great, it's awesome. So I'll wind that back up to about two thirds of the way up the hook shank, and then I'm going to tie that guy in. And then I'm going to wind that back down the hook. Yeah. Not very technical stuff, this. Back up here, now I'm gonna wind this in just nice touching, neat turns back up towards the um, bead there. Wind that up, get that out of the way. I think the trouble with a lot of commercially bought flies these days is they make them too bulky. I don't like it. Like the stuff you're trying to imitate ain't that bulky unless it's like a big stone fly or something. Um, so I think definitely less is more when you're tying flies. That's my approach anyway. Seemed to work for me. I've been through the bulky phase and um, I hate it now. I hate it. Right, so we'll take that off there. And I'm just going to take a couple of turns in there. And then what I'm going to do is grab my uh, whip finishing tool. And I'm just going to put a couple of turns in there and then get rid of that. So then what you've got is hopefully enough space that you can then just bring that up there. And what we're gonna do is just take a little bit of super glue, dollop of that there, and then we're gonna push that up there. And then what you want is just that little bit of space behind the bead, that's all. So then while that's drying, so while that's drying you want to grab yourself one of your feathers and then what you want to do here to prep it is you see this, um, see this fluffy shirt at the bottom? Get rid of that, pull that off, throw it on the floor and I'm just going to pull these feather fibers back so they look like that. So you're kind of looking at something like that now. All right. So now that's pretty much dry, I'm going to tie this back in. I'm going to get my feather like so, 
and I'm going to tie in this tip end here. Now if you've got hackle pliers, it's going to make this next bit real easy. So I'm going to tie this in and I'm going to tie that right up behind the old bead again and then get rid of this tag end. That'll do. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just kind of pull all the fibers, pull your fibers going that way. Now if you've got hackle pliers, this is when you chuck those on there and uh, this would be a lot less clumsy. You really must get some hackle pliers. But yeah, you want to go around once, two times max I reckon. You don't actually want heaps of fibers here. All you're really trying to do here is just give the flyer just a little bit of movement more than anything. So I'm tired once, twice. Yeah, got him. And then just couple in behind here. Now what I'm gonna do here is just find that stalky end bit, pull that back and get rid of it. All right. And then all I'm going to do now is just tidy things up, build up a little bit of a head. That'll do. If you're a real fly tire, you would probably just put a bit of varnish on there, a little bit of glue, whatever, just to make that head nice and neat. I just don't care. And you know what? I generally will lose that fly before it falls apart, so I don't really see the problem. But yeah, it's pretty much what you're left with. It's something like that that bead looks like a little kind of air bubble in there a little bit of movement from those fibers and uh, yeah I'll catch fish yeah anyway, I'll fish that there you go I hope that was clear enough and uh, good enough for you to follow if you want to it's a really really good fly even if you don't tie your own soft hackles you should buy some because they're awesome into fishing flies they do a really good soft hackle the peacock point if you check out this video you'll see what that looks like so if you don't want to tie your own then that peacock pointer is the business anyway soft tackles get them tie them buy them make them just have them with you so uh that's it so that's friday done i'm gonna make another video i don't know what i'm gonna do anyway give me a thumbs up if you like this found that useful drop me a comment in the comment section below because what else are you gonna do and if you haven't subscribed hit the button, do me a favor, help me grow the channel a bit. And fingers crossed, we'll find out in the next few days whether or not we're gonna come out of this lockdown in a week or so and we can go fishing again. Oh, I hope so. The weather's turned to ass. It's just rain, cold, snow, wintry. So it's definitely gonna be a different scene when I get back out there. All right, stay healthy, stay sane. I'll see you next week. Cheers.